Okay, I think we're basically ready to go. Can't think of it. Oh, maybe I need to adjust the volume. Yeah, you do that. All right. Uh, again, just keep an eye on the stream as always. Let me swap it over. Hey, how you doing? Let's hang out for a bit. Uh, all right. Take it away, operator. So we made it to the Blue Moon tournament, and I got a pretty okay layout. Got a pretty okay layout. We're fighting a normal Navi, which we're playing soccer, but with bombs. Uh, round two, we're hopefully going to fight Thunder Man. And round three, we're fighting Junk Man. We already know that's going to happen. But right now, we got to go to... We have to go get Bomb Shoes, but I just remembered... Something that I potentially missed. Wait, are they already there? Oh, they're already there. Can I leave? Yes. Okay, I want to... Wait, not not Costello. Dendo. Is the water filter available? Let's see. Because I never... I didn't know about this for the longest time. Oh, it's available now! Sometime when you go to Netopia. Why is it available now, of all things? Last time it was fishy. Speed plus one. Hmm. So... Honestly, if I want speed, I have speed max. And speed max is a way better... Like, it takes up way, way less space. Look, like, three speed ones, it would get me to plus four, when I could just have speed max for the same amount of space. Well, anyway. Nothing else here, right? Yeah, I had to make sure to come back out and grab that. If you look, there's an ultra miniature filter attacks attached. So clearly they added the filter like more in like by the time you go to the the blue moon tournament. Checking in some more. We are. We are. Uh just went to uh the the water filter and den don't because let's be honest that one's easy to miss but now we are gonna go play uh bomb soccer that's what we're doing and we can't get the shortcut till later that's fine Right, uh, Bomb Shoes, they're in the Netopia area. There's just one guy we needed to talk to. So we can play soccer, but with bombs. But it's not soccer. It, it, it's not soccer. However, I do want to take the time to go to Yumland. Battle Association, nope. Not you. I don't know where this guy is, so just gonna be wandering around. But I do want to end up going to Netopia. Or Yumland, so I can buy the board parts. And then maybe take take a trip to uh, Sharo. Uh, take a trip. Uh, yeah, take a trip to Sharo. So I can uh, get the sea slider. Got rid of that guy, and I think my best bet. Wait, I could just do this. But how's it g going, Guru Gamesh? How, how's your day been going? What do you say? Looking for bomb shoes. Oh, do you play football? That's wonderful. I've been making bomb shoes forever. If you'll just bring me a Guard 1A chip, then I can make you some. 
Do you have one? I should have plenty. I have to use that to make the bomb shoes. Hang on there. Just one second. They're finished. Take here, take them. We got bomb shoes. I'm so happy that they're still football players. Football requires a lot of stamina. Stamina is the key to winning at football. Have you put on the bomb shoes? If you have, then jack into the goddess comp by the riverside. I'll show you just how scary football can be. I appreciate sure I got this midterm. This got to study. Oh, that. I have been doing pretty fine, Guru Gamesh, but it sounds. Uh, midterms. That's. That's gotta be stressful. Uh. But then, like, you'll study all the information, and then as soon as midterms are done, you'll probably only remember, like, I don't know, 20% of it by the next week. But yeah, good luck with that. That's that's gotta be annoying. Ooh, let's. What are you studying for, by the way? If uh, if I may ask. Okay, I think now we shall set up light shots. There we go. Mathematics course. Discrete mathematics course. Hmm. Interesting. It sucks. <laughs> is it one of those classes that you're forced to take? Or is it one that you purposely chose? And I'm assuming this is college. Yeah. Yeah, and you are right there. Want to buy some junk data? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wing parts. 4,000 zenny. Got the wing parts. Alright. Forced to take. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can take out both. Nope, we only get one of them. You know, I never understood that about college. I didn't I didn't go, but one thing I thought with college is like, okay, you have an idea of what you want to go into in terms of a career. Now, let's now you go to college and take the classes that will help you get into that career. I never understood why college forces you to take certain courses, even if it has nothing to do with the career set that you want to go into. Money? Probably. Oh, and Frick's power. Frick's power. I think that's good enough. Oh, uh, Kendo Man can't get past rocks. Mm hmm. Because, you know, that's what learning your mathematics and language arts and all those other classes is what. 12 years of school was for, you know, college should be like, oh, I want to go into this type of field. Let's let's take college classes to learn how to go into that type of field. And it's like, why do I need to learn, uh, like, so <laughs> there's like degrees that it's like, why do I need to take this if I'm not never going to use it, especially in the field that I'm trying to go into? So bored of I wish I had more board parts. What? Don't I have them all? Board part, chip part. I have them all. I guess I can't... I guess I can't uh, swap them yet.
Black Bomb Z. Hmm. Pretty sure I already had that. I guess I can't get the sl the C slider just yet. Well, I have all the parts though. I guess we'll start with this. Air hockey. blue mystery data for another speed plus one because I totally totally need that again at that point you might as well just use the speed max program it takes up less space all right I already got the blue mystery data so now to play foot bomb so you came huh let's get this over with hold on what what is this? Okay, listen up, goof. These are the foot bomb rules. There's a kicker and a goalie. The goalie stands before a goal. Blocks from entering. Uh, blocks from entering. The kick balls, the kicker kicks. The kicker tries to kick the bomb balls past the goalie. As kicker, use your D-pad to choose a direction to kick and press A. As goalie, use direction to block the direction from the ball is coming from. The ball scores, it will blow up damaging the goalie. The bomb ball is kicked over and over again like this until someone runs out and of HP and loses. These are the rules of foot bomb. Capiche? Now then, let's get started. All right. Here comes the shot. I ah the shock wave, but it's not over yet. Is there a way to tell? How can you get... I think I already lost. Yep. There's more football than you. There's more to football than you think. What is it? You're not done? Ooh. We just gotta keep going until I win. There's a lot of health, too. Is it literally just guess? Hmm. There has to be a way to tell. Right? have to just guess, don't you? And I hit right there. Right in A. And nothing happened because I did it too late. You have to commit to it beforehand. I hit left there. Why'd it go forward? Okay. Hmm. Okay, Hayden, A before you pick a direction actually, uh... If you hit A before you hit a direction, you just stand there. Mm. 
you have to pick the direction and before you press A. So I almost feel like I need more HP for this. And there's no up and down. Okay. Like I what, I lose like 300 HP? Hmm. Does he just go in the same... Okay, hold on. I think he kicks in the same direction you did. I could be wrong, though. I lost. No way. That was close, but if you catch the ball, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, how could I lose to this amateur? Huh. Foot bomb's no big deal. Oh, it is. Lan, aren't you saying too much? Leave it Leave it be. He said he what he wanted about us, so it's my turn. Yeah, but still. Dang. I want to find some spacious area and just run. Gah! Whoa. No. He, he's gone. What are you blabbling on about? He must be depressed. Let's go apologize. But he started it. Lan, don't be a child. But... Uh, <laughs> okay, Mega Man, let's apologize. But where is he? He said something about running in some space, spacious area. Spacious area. Hmm. Like a big square? I probably said too much, too. Let's go find him. Probably Netopia. And too bad I can't just fly to Netopia. So we have to go through the Netopia area. Or Netfrica. Jeez. I've been saying... Yeah, we can't just go to Netfrica. We have to go through Netopia. All right. I wonder when I can actually m fuse the board parts. I, I'm guessing it's one of those cases where you can only fuse the board parts during the Blue Moon Tournament if you are on a mission where you're required to go to the Undernet. If not, then it's after the Blue Moon Tournament. That is my guess. I don't know if that's actually the case. Oh, come on. I hit the reflect. Come on. Get out of here. Don't get much as any out of that, but it's okay. Alright. Come. Come, Guardian. Maybe we could get a level 2 magnet bolt. Okay, I need a couple of them. Blue mystery data. Anti recover D. Oh, that's blue mystery data. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought he was up there. Yeah, go enjoy the background noise, Guru Gamesh. Enjoy the background noise. Well, I go. You know. Uh, some guy has feelings hurt about bomb football, you know. So, you gotta go patch that up. Because we were too good. Alright. 
gonna need to heal up soon, but where is he? Uh, there's a Nefica uh, Dance of the wel of Welcome? Dance of Welcome, huh. Wait, what is this? Fuck Fragment, sweet. Um, Lance said some mean things. Hey, that was just training. Let's play football again. This time, we use the Power Bomb. P power Bomb? Yeah, it's a traditional Netopian bomb that we use to see who the best foot bomber is. It'll destroy anything. It'll tear most navvies to shreds in a single hit. Compared to this, that last game was a tea party. So, will you accept my challenge? Or are you scared? <laughs> so that's what a net battler's made of. You can refuse if you wanna, but if you do, you have to quit the tourney. What? You have no right to add conditions like that. Lan, I'll do it. Let's show them what net battlers can do. Fine, let's do it before you change your mind. We'll do it in Hero Comp, the football holy land. Or football holy land. Don't lose your nerve and try to run. Hero Comp? Where is that? Fine, check out Mega Man. We have to find the football holy land. All right. What are you doing, Molly? You being weird? Dog's being weird. I know I say that like every stream, but hey, she be weird sometimes. All right, time for round two of foot bomb. Am I ready? Yeah, I'm ready. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Here I come. Okay. Okay. Nope. It oh. I lose in one shot. That is dumb. And no, he does not mimic your last move, as far as I could tell. There has to be a better way to deal with this. Oh, it's like he can read my movements on the first hit. Uh, no, I hit right. Come on. Has to be some sort of pattern. If I just still can't. There has to be something I'm missing. I'm just trying to find something on this. Hmm. 
so pretty much what I found what I tend to when I found was basically just boost your HP but one thing I read was he typically blocks or he kicks where he blocked that was it I really just needed one catch if that is the case where he'll kick in the direction that he blocked, then you can predict him. But I don't know if that was actually the case. Sorry. We can't lose. This must be... So I got ice. <laughs> we can't lose. This must be some nightmare. Yeah, a nightmare. <laughs> oh no. My navy's broken. Dang it! In that case, I'll smack you around in the, in the net battle instead. I'm game. I'll see you there. Check out. I haven't lost yet. <laughs> Let's go too, Mega Man. Yeah. Uh, time for the actual fight. You know, it's only been like 30 minutes. <laughs> spending that much time on football. It wasn't that bad, but... Still, it was a little ridiculous that there's no way to predict, and I think the unless the way to predict was pay attention to where he was guarding. Please forgive the long delay, everyone. First, it's Jack Bomber, the Nettopian representative. And from Electopia, Lan! I joined this tourney so the, that football would take net battling's place as a major sport. I'm gonna beat you to teach the whole world about it. Everyone will be shocked to see more intense action. Sorry, but we don't plan on losing today. Yeah, we'll take your football advertising. Yeah, take your football advertising somewhere else. Why does it have to replace net battling? Why can't you have both? These guys know each other already. I have a feeling this this will be a fierce battle. So let's begin. Jack Bomber versus Lan. Battle routine set. Execute. I'll blow you away. Oh, he has the same HP during, like, during the foot bomb stuff. That's consistent. Start with a blizzard, so that way we can get ice panels on his side. Okay. He has me blinded, but apparently doesn't... Apparently sound doesn't work when you're invisible. Because that makes sense, right? Okay. Let's get some healing in and get the Magnum Bolt 1 in. Oh, great. He set up wind. that up. Alright, we're going with Prick's Power. Great, he's, invin he's invincible. He set up, what, anti-navi probably? He probably does, no, he, no anti-damage. It, it's either anti-heal or anti-navi. Like, there, there's no in-between. Okay. Yeah, Boomerang 2 again. I might be better off leaving the wind box here.
Come on, attack me. Do it. Reflect. Normal Navi deleted. Land wins. Oh yeah, he doesn't actually have a name. It's just Normal Navi. That's kind of lame. We did it. How's that? This is the power of a net battler. It can't be true. To lose here. My dream. My dream to bring football back. Why did I even bother? Um, let's leave them alone. There's really not much of a winner that can say to a loser. Bravo, bravo! Huh? Who are you? You may have lost, but you put up an impressive fight. What was that you were saying about footbomb earlier? Uh, yeah. I joined this tourney so I could, so that footbomb could go major. I wanted to win and use my victory to promote it. But now look at me. Laugh all you want. I really like your tough guy personality. Actually, I work for a TV station. How would you like to be on TV? W really? Me? My station's doing a show in, on Netopian history. I've been looking for someone to tell the world about the history of football. But I have no luck yet. I really need your help. Alright, this will be great PR for football. Please, let me do it. You'll do it? Great! Let's get right down to business then. Sure. Hey. What? Good luck. Thanks. Let's go. Uh, okay. Good luck, he says. The nerve of that guy. Hey, all's well that ends well. And ain't, isn't that right? Well, yeah. Let's actually go into the arena. And get the blue mystery data now before I forget. Where is it? There we go. Zenny? Okay. I mean, extra zenny is extra zenny. Oh yeah, we can skip through this now. Yay, it's Thunderman! And look, it seems like Chunkman's gonna be in the finals. Who would have guessed? So we're up against Thunderman next. He's the Navi of Raul from Netopia. So he remembers Raul, but he doesn't remember Tomiko. Thanks, Lan. <laughs> He looks pretty tough, but he'll be a great opponent. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He looks pretty tough. He was just reading that was from... Does he not remember who Raul is? Hey, you! Are you competing in the tournament? Uh, yes, that's right. Okay, okay. I own, I own the Netopia Cafe in the square up the stairs, right? In front of the hotel? I'm holding a little event for comp competitors in the tournament. An event? That's right. It's a little test of skill for those in the tournament. The prize is some of my famous Netopian bread. Netopian bread? Is it good? Of course it is! Some people travel all over the world to eat it. It's crunchy on the outside, and soft on the inside. It goes great with bacon and lettuce. Where, where, where will that event be held? <laughs> I can tell you're into it. It's in the front of the Netopia area uh, area shop in the net. Early birds get the worm or bread. I'll go tell the other contestants. Goodbye. Mega Man, let's go to this event. I don't care what it is. I just want to try that bread. What's the point of traveling unless... What's the point of traveling unless you try the food? Let's go. I'm gonna win this. Oh, here I come, Netopian bread. You're a competitor too? I heard there was some tasty event in Netopia area. Hey, aren't you Lan? Yeah, that's me. Why do you know me? Do you mind showing me how strong your country is? Huh? 
What, you want a net battle with me? Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I'm in a hurry right now. Huh? So your people can turn down the challenge, huh? I'll have to go home and tell everyone what you taught me. So, you Electopians are cowards, huh? But wait, wait a second. You can't say that about us. I'll do it. I'll fight you. Come on. <laughs> so you do have some pride. Let's fight then. Here I come, old man. Skills of Land and Mega Man, representing Electopia. Battle routine set, execute. <laughs> Just a normal Navi with 800 HP, okay. I guess we'll just go with the Boomerang for now. So, how is Lan gonna, you know, get out of whatever is gonna happen here? It's like, gonna be some sort of lockout. Let's see. Ooh, Guardian. Oh no, a wind block, a wind box. Whatever shall I do? Okay. Well, I can't really utilize Magnet Bolt with wind here. I made it work. Oh yeah, I have Invis, duh. Wanna try it again, my dude? The cannon. Keep moving around. Alright. I can win this. Wide shot two. Get out of here. So, what did he do? You're not ready to represent Electopia just yet. But anything could happen in this tournament. Grispy Necrom. What? Grispy? Who was that old guy? Well, he's not in the tournament. Is this some custom of this nation? I wonder. Oh, well. Forget about that. Let's go get some Netopian bread. So I, uh, we have to go to the Natopia area. And the net. So far we haven't been able to really leave Natopia on this run. We, we'll be going to Yumland though, now I'm thinking about it. He's just a junk man. Might as well make a save, no big deal. Come, Guardian. Oh, I, yeah, I should have moved up. Oh well. Double delete. Rank 10, because I got hit. It's any. Okay. The sh and we need to go to the shop. So you're trying to so you're trying for the Natopian bread? If you can defeat the viruses I release, then you can get some fresh baked Natopian bread. Are you ready? Then let's go. Battle start. Uh it's all the sheep. Well, with Prick's power. Okay, I can get two of them in one go. Get rid of the wool, and then hit them. Wait. Wait a minute. What? How come it didn't... How come it only took out one? That's... It took down only... Can Kendo Man only hit one at a time in the same row? Can he only hit one in the same row? Like, I, I don't understand. Uh, 
Uh, I really don't like these sheep. I really need a better way to deal with them. Two of these would do the trick. Yeah, get out of here. Congratulations! Very nice skills. I can see why you're in the tourney. We did it! Scored! Natopian bread! And here's your ticket for the Natopian bread. What? You're looking a lot rather pale. Mega Man, what's wrong? I feel horrible. Oh no, Mega Man's losing strength. What's going on? You better check out fast, Mega Man. You were fine until just now. What the heck happened? This worries me, Mega Man. I wonder if someone can help out. <laughs> suffer, 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 Mega Man. All right, who can we talk to? Where is... Who do we need to talk to? It's obviously gonna be Raul, but where is he? Okay, probably at the Coliseum. There he is. R Raul! What is it? I don't like bugging my opponent before the match. But Mega Man's in trouble. Okay, so he knows who Raul is. Okay, he does know who he is. But M Mega Man's in trouble. What's wrong with Mega Man? He started suffering in the net all of a sudden. And then he started losing power. Does this ring any bells? Did Mega Man fight a... Wrong... Uh, wrong person talking. They... Uh... They swapped the pick portraits again. Did Megman find it a virus before he collapsed? No, but a strange old man challenged us to a net battle. He said something after the battle ended. Grispy something or another? Did that old man say Grispy Necrom? That, that's it! That's what he said! Grispy Necrom. Great spirit. Let the Trial of Doom begin. Trial of Doom? In other words, Meg Mega Man has been hit with a death curse. Unless something's done, the curse will kill Mega Man. Death curse? Mega Man will d die? Bro, isn't there something we can do? There's only one way to lift the curse. Mega Man would have to pass the trial of life or death first, though. Trial of life or death? Lan, I'll do it. Mega Man, you're in no such shape. You're in no shape to do that. I'm okay with your help, Lan. That trial is the only way to lift the curse, right? Uh, yeah, okay, Mega Man. Well, tell us how to lift the curse. We're ready. Very well. This Grespy Necrom curse uses a curse doll, which must be placed in a specific location. Where? There's a road in the Natopia area that's blocked by a door. The curse doll must be behind that door. To get past that door, you'll need four marks. Bravery M, Strength M, Wisdom M, and Kindness M. They're hidden in Natopia and Yum Yumland area. Only the cursed can see them. So, today, only Mega Man can see them. It is, it is a difficult trial, but Mega Man must pass it to live another day. Okay. I'll send Thunderman to Natopia area. Go to him after you get the cursed doll. Find the four marks first. I got it. Thank you, Raul. I feel weird about asking someone I'm about to fight for help, but there's nobody else. Don't worry about it. This isn't just your problem. Huh? Okay, hurry up. The, mas the match will start soon. How's it going, hot, hot corn dog? We just got hit by a curse, and we still can't go to Yumland IRL. <laughs> it might be best to go to Yumland first, get the farthest stuff out of the way. 
Oh, we're just constantly losing health. So we almost need to go into battle just to heal up. Okay, gotta make it fast. Okay, let's see. Okay, take the time to heal up. Oh, I should have gone into Number Soul. Should have, should have done that. That would have been better. Oh, I could go into Wood Soul. I can heal up on the grass panels. That'll work better. Fully healed. All right, We've got more time. Probably in one of these dead ends. Talk to you. Oh, wow. Even talking to someone doesn't, uh... You gotta be careful when talking to someone, too. Okay. It'll still drain you my health. that I have wait let's hit... let's go number soul let's heal up right now I'm looking for a boomerang Time to heal up on the grass panels. Honestly, if you were playing this in Red Sun, like you probably would normally do, you'd probably be a good idea to go with Roll Soul. Because I think you get health back every time you use a chip. Got, we got Wisdom M. This blue mystery data is Zenny. There's gotta be one more in Yum Land somewhere. Yeah, I found it. Okay. one. Let's heal up. Okay, almost at full health. Got him. Full health, we get the other program. Okay, 
kindness, Sam. Okay. Let's, let's keep checking Yumland for just a second. I am pretty sure, though, that, uh... I'm pretty sure that uh, the rest are in Netopia. Okay, now I'm not worried about this guy. Alright, I'm at full health. No, Wood Soul not required. Time to mess with chip folder. Alright. I have two magnet bolts. Magnet bolt two. Different codes. Start getting a better one, I guess. Alright. Two in that Topia area. Let's go find them very quick. This would suck if you, like, somehow just used up so many dark chips that you're at, like, 1 HP. Although, I'm guessing it wouldn't just kill you. It would probably just keep you at 1 HP. That is my guess. Because it'd be kind of broken otherwise. Double delete. Oh, we got a pop up. Okay. It's a star chip, too. Okay, I see one. I was going to just run. Dang. Okay, I can just use Prick's power. So let's find... I think I want to try to find my other healing. See what we can do. good codes right now. Yeah, the explosion kind of needs to get rid of the wall. Alright. Um, it's gonna be a while before I get... Fine. We'll just... You know what? We'll just get the one then maybe you leave, go back in. Maybe we'll go with that. Bravery. One more. As much as I wouldn't mind using Guardian. Ah, what was the point of the... Okay. All 
Right now, let's get rid of the fire guy. Never mind, I'm not getting rid of the fire guy. I only got one more opportunity to heal without just wasting 10,000 turns just going through my chips. Alright. I think I did worse than I did coming in to the fight. Oh, good. 400 HP. Found it. Strength M. Go through the door. There's the voodoo doll. Hurry to Thunder Man. Kind of speeding through the text because look, it still goes down even during the text boxes. Kind of need to speed through. I think he's up here. Classic collection of the entire weekend. Ooh, very nice. Crazy how the game was giving gold a goose. And yeah, from Ooh. Always say I already made a patch for PC to fix some of the problems, but still join the game. But people are playing. But the people are playing around. So, uh, yeah, I heard something went wrong with the classic collection. What happened? What happened this time? Yeah, what, how did they mess up this time? Okay, both my healing. Good. I'm not full health, but definitely better than where I was before. I got the green mystery data. Static star. Where's Thunder Man? This is... I think this might be one of those cases where I need to leave and go back in. Because he wouldn't pop in. Well, let me talk to Raul very quick. Although, I'm pretty sure he said, find Thunder Man in Natopia. Yeah. Yeah, I think this was just one of those cases where I needed to leave the room and come back in. Or leave the net and come back in. I could have gone to Sharo. Thunder Man is up here. No, he is not. Multiplayer on launch. The first couple hours, there were only three servers for each console, meaning about 200 people could play. Ooh, that... Okay. <laughs> that, that'd do it. That'd definitely do it. this for a little bit. Get rid of you. Perfect. You know, three servers per basically console. Uh, and of course, no crossplay. Thunderman. I don't think I don't believe he's in Yum Land. Oh, there he is. Good, we found him. I see you got the curse doll. Put it right there. Now back off. <sighs> oh, he's at one HP. Now for the ceremony to lift the curse. Grusby Kumo. 
Grispy, Grispy Kumo, Kamo, whatever. Reside in the living, protect the living, O oh great spirit. Bravery, strength, wisdom, kindness. Bless, bless the valiant one who has passed the, cur the cruel trial of the four marks. Grispy Hap Hapine. Mega Man. Thunderbolt strike. Destroy the curse that afflicts him. Try to fix that. A bit too faithful to the online experience of the OG games. There were uh, connection issues and detection delay. Oh no. That can't be uh, on purpose though. Is the curse gone? Mega Man! Mega Man! Lan? Lan! Mega Man, are you alright? I mean, I'm at 1 HP, but I'm fine. Yes, it was like the pain was just a dream. Roll, Thunderman, thank you so much. No thanks needed. Fighting a weakened opponent is no fun. This is the pr a principle of my proud tribe. I'll see you at the Coliseum for our fight. Okay. Time to fight Thunderman. I forgot about that whole, like, how that went down. Like, again, very less experience with Led Red Sun than with Blue Moon. But now it's on to fight Thunder Man. Please forgive the long delay, everyone. First, it's Raul, the Netopian representative. And from Electopia, Lan. Thanks again for helping us, Raul. But there will be no holding back, okay? Of course not. Thank you for your help. Thank you for help... Wait. Thank you for help me save the pride of my tribe. Thank you for help me save. Should it be helping me save? So in the first game, they mess up the audio for when the level is loading. Instead of rising the pitch, it stayed the same pitch till it was... So it's like extremely quiet or is ex extremely loud during the loading screens? Hmm. Let's begin. Raul versus Lan. Battle routine set. Execute. Go, Thunderman. Shower him with raging thunderbolts. Inverted controls for flying. No options to talk about. Oh, God. come on. Like, I thought we were past that. Ah, now the Thunder Crowd is actually doing more. Oh, uh, this is actually, this actually might be a harder fight. All right. Wood Soul then, so that way I can't get paralyzed. He was in the back. Oh, does Thunderman stay in the back? Yeah, he stays in the back. Yeah, I'm getting confused with the free tournament variant. Come Guardian. Uh, visual glitches on maps 
So don't ruin the game, but you probably don't expect the collection. Mm. It's messy, but very playable. Oh, uh, second game got it worse. Okay, time for Perk's Power. Two boomerangs, two wide shots. Got him. That was close. That was really close. I was kind of right. He does stay in the back. Thunderman deleted. Land wins. You did it, Mega Man. Thanks for the great fight, Raul. You hammered me. There is no excuse. It was a clean fight. Len, there is one thing I must, I must apologize for. You can now come out, Mr. Elder. It's that old man. Len, Mega Man, the elder of my tribe cursed you. It was your curse? Mr. Elder, why? Why did you befall our fight, our fair fight with your curse? You shamed our tribe. I couldn't watch as watch our warrior defeated before the world. Defeat is no shame. I choose defeat with honor, not a victory that breaks the rules. You, Mr. Elder, were the one that taught me that. Defeat with honor. Raul, I lost sight of what in of what is important by trying to save face. Lan and Mega Man, I've done, I have done you a great evil. I will accept any punishment. Lan, Len, I am sorry as well. Things looked bad for a while, but the curse was lifted, right, Mega Man? Yeah, don't sweat it, Mr. Elder. You thought you fought with pride too. You're forgetting. You're forgiving me? Oh yeah. And after the battle comes friendship. That's a net battle rule. You are truly m merciful. I'm so sorry. Len, let me apologize too. You are a proud warrior. Raul, I have grown too old. The tribe needs a new, younger leader. I would like to ask you to take over. I can rest at ease knowing that a proud and respectful man like you is the new leader, Mr. Elder. I would like to spend my remaining years in peace. May you live well, Lan. Whoa, you're the new leader. Good luck. Lan and Mega Man, fighting you was an honor. Grow ever stronger and prouder. Good for Raul. He's going up in life. Uh, first, uh, no inverted controls either. Ooh. Multiplayer hit detection is absolutely horrendous. The main campaign has some cutscenes not pre present for some reason. And the sensitivity is super slow. Hmm. Why they cut out certain cutscenes, or is it a mistake? Raul and Thunderman were both strong and po powerful warriors. I like to grow up just like them. Yeah. Hmm. I think I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, the Natopian bread. Looks like I have. I have a ways to go before I'll be like Raul. Once they got servers up, the official servers by Asper were really short. It's 32v32, so... So people experience region locking. Oh, wow. And look, it's Junk Man. And we can skip a lot of this. We have to go to the Yum Land area. We can't go here yet. Oh, no, we can! We can go here. So we'll just use this shortcut. Hmm. 
Now, with Yumland, I have to buy the... No, I have to make a donation. There we go. Still have plenty of money. Okay. Let me do this. Ooh, got the double delete. Side... Side Bat Boo 1. Oh, right. This is one of the side areas. All right. Then land code. Done. Alright. Let's go take care of this trash. Mod controversy. They said they use any mods off... They use any mods for the launch version... Any mods on the trailer was taken off. Or didn't use any mods, okay. After launch, the modded the modders did some testing and found that they used his mod for the hero mono. Huh. Switch version, all the heroes are from the mod. Either they lied or they forgot to take him off. Ooh, that that's not good. That's not a good look. Um Uh, this is EA, right? No, oh, yeah, had nothing to do with this. Uh, who made this then? Well, who was the original creator in the first place, and then who made this? Asper and Lucas Game. Oh, really? Lucas Arts, or Lucas Games, whatever. Huh. And I don't think I've heard of Asper before. Like this is the first time I think I've heard of this company. This is mean. Oh, he can't use Geddon. Okay. Pandemic Studios, they made both games. Unfortunately, they were disbanded after EA bought them. Okay, that's where the confusion came in for me. Asper basically had to port the games over to modern consoles, but fumbled the bag. Hmm. I mean... As long as they work, uh, you know, work to fix it up, whatever. But that whole mod thing, that's, uh, that's not a good look.
Oh, we just focus on getting rid of... There we go, get rid of you first. Got rid of you. Okay. That's done. Alright, get permission to go into the Buddha. We're almost done with this section. Definitely goes a little bit faster when you can just speed through the cutscenes. Oh, I can delete Thunderman now. Let me double check. Secret chips. I have all three thunders, or lightning. And we just fought him, so. Remove Thunderman. Released a patch for PC and waiting for approval on consoles. Address the inverted controls, the first game's loading sound, and a lot of visual and audio bugs. So fortunately, not a lot of the multiplayer. Hmm. At least they didn't drop the game and did. Yeah, that's always the worry, isn't it? That they just released the game and then just, whoop, we got your money, we're done now. That's always the worry, isn't it? It, but it it almost sounds like the collection needed to be delayed a bit. We got some Zenny, talk to you. Kind data. Now we could do the match. People ask for refunds. Uh, like points. Oh, bunch of Yep. It just sounds like a rush product again. To meet the deadline, instead of, you know, releasing it when it's basically ready, they need to get it out and release it ASAP because it makes money. That's what it sounds like to me. It's another example of that. Alright, time to fight Junkman again! Should have waited when he did this move. Oh, I can block it! I can block the junk piles. That's cool. Uh, let's get a powered up bubbler. Okay, four of those. There's a chance I'll lose this. Okay. Ooh. Come, Guardian. Oh, one HP.
Got him. Oh, that was close. That was very close. <laughs> All right, that's done. We're done with the Blue Moon Tournament. Now we gotta go stop the, as the asteroid that's being piloted by Duo. Because that's what we're doing. Got the HP banner. Right, Naxa, we're gonna be... Soon we're gonna be doing cleanup. Alright. Right, this is where each of the air, uh, each of parts of the net are blocked off. Oh yeah, Dr. Regal wanted a communicator. Transmitter, that's what it was. I think we might... I'm, part of me is thinking we might get through round two today, but I don't know. We still gotta... No, there's a lot of cleanup now that I'm really thinking about it. There's a lot of cleanup. Considering we have we have to do the Django side quest again. We have to do that side quest. That way we can uh, get the Nebula code and open the doors. Okay, I want to go in here first. Wait. Actually, no, I don't want to go in here first. Let's go in here first. But yeah, Battlefront seems like it's not doing well. Maybe if they fix it in patches, maybe it will be good, but yeah, sounds like they fumbled the bag. Uh, okay, gonna give you the shortcut, but you know the un some guys checking the undernet. So now that I talked to him, I set that up. So once we find the guy in undernet, we can get the shortcut. Because both games are sandbox battlefield games. Sometimes. Is that a bug or is that in vanilla games? Vanilla games are really glitchy. Hmm, yeah. Makes you wonder. Uh, question about... <laughs> I know I played it, like, a little bit, but it was, like, at a friend's house, and I only played it, like, a couple times, so... It might have been Battlefront 2. Does Battlefront have any sort of single-player content, or is it literally just multiplayer PvP? Pretty much. And also, like, if it if it's really just multiplayer stuff, really, there's not much point to get the original versions, is there? Other than just fell out of collection, right? Shower code. Get this open. Now can we get the sea slider? I still... I have all the parts. How come I can't get the sea slider? I probably have to find out information about it. About that person. Hmm. Oh no, I can't see. Yeah, 
reflect. Th reflect doesn't stay up that long. Come on. There we go. Yeah, after that beating, I kind of need the health back. Come, Guardian. All of you just get out of here. Alright, get that done. Then we'll go to You know what? We probably need to talk to like a guy in uh when you're about to go to the un undernet and they're like, oh, you need to find a a, a, a uh, person in Sharo to make a board for you. That's probably what it was. And I would have to go through Netflica for that. All I know is right now Yumland has two. Again, get that taken care of. Going down this way. Hmm. Uh, fine, we'll go with Aqua Soul. I can at least get rid of the electric guy right away. Okay, I can basically stop him from healing if I keep him up there. And we have the Guardian, so this works. Get out of here. Okay, one, one fence. Too. Oh, he can just hover over holes. That's fantastic. How was I supposed to know he could do that? I got rid of them. All right, time to uh, break down the other door. starting chips, honestly. Alright. Virus time! Come, Guardian! All of you are out. Perfect. Mostly a single player game, a lot of multiplayer is just from instant action. There's campaign and galactic conquest on both games. Multiplayer is mostly just fighting real players, right, okay. Hmm. So there is an actual campaign. Maybe Bell uh maybe that's maybe that's a game I need to pick up one of these days. I don't know about the... Like, if I care about PvP, I play the... 
you know, if I care about PvP, you get maybe the collection if it gets fixed up. If I don't, it doesn't matter what I get. Now I'm curious on how much the original Battlefronts are going for. Uh, lock enemy, that's nice. Triple delete. Looking at, like, okay. PlayStation 2, Star Wars, oh, Star Wars Battlefront's very cheap on PS2. Like, not even 10 bucks cheap. There's two versions? Either way, we're still talking 10 bucks. Battlefront 2, PS2, again, 10 bucks, wow. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, Battlefront's very cheap to get. Yeah, very easy to get. Saw some tactics in multiplayer that was kind of funny, like I've seen them used before, so I'm trying to make some action. Yeah. I know it's mostly a multiplayer thing. I'm just not really someone that plays multiplayer a lot of the time. Again, I like having single player content stuff. I messed that up. Reflect. Oh, it's a battle of three. Got it. Like, look, I like Battle Network, as you could tell. But if a game came out and it was just multiplayer, and that's all it was, I'd probably care a lot less. Because I don't play these, I don't really play games for PvP. Good. Done here. All right. Let's go down here first. Let's open the gate. Oh, and then we have to go to park area one through town area four. That's right. And Gun Soul will do the trick. Get out of here. Alright, we opened up the, all the pathways. Look for the official Navi in Natopia area. We'll do that later. We're gonna do that later, Lan. First, let's go to see if we can get this sea slider fixed. Get the originals for collection reasons. The second, besides the first game in the classic collection being fine, the second game in the collection is missing some stuff. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you said like cutscenes are like completely missing for whatever reason. It's like yeah, I could play multiplayer on my current consoles, 
But what does it matter if I have less content? So the original games are easier. The AI in the classic collection are crazy accurate. Oh, wow. Oh, we finally got the... The other boomerang. Let's at least do that so we can set up the program in advance. Snipers never hit you on the PS2 version, and now the collection of snipers just hit you across the map. Oh, that sucks. That's that's weird. So they they somehow made the game harder. The only here is placing the under that C slider if you were to go in. I think I had to talk to him first. And I guess I could have probably done that at any time. So first, I want to get my sea slider. Let's get the sea slider done first. Gonna have to take care of cleanup soon. But for now. Honestly, once I get access to the Nebula code, that's when we'll do cleanup. Slider Master, yep. I got all the parts. I didn't have to pay you, but I had to pay to get past your door, so... Alright. So I'm supposed to go to... Wait, what am I doing? I need to go find the representative in Nettopia area. But yeah, with like... Isn't there a way with like emulators for you to actually just play multiplayer with other people as well? With like a PS2 emulator? Okay, park area. Need to go to the undernet. Need to go to town area 4. Actually, we could just go from here. We can take the shortcut that's down here. So apparently that's where you use AI to help with graphics upscaling. Hmm. It just seems like it's lazy, if anything. And also... I mean... You can use AI to get a lot of things done, but you do need to basically check the work. You know what I mean? Oh, I... I don't have the Castello shortcut. I think that's the one I had to actually go to. Okay. I have the sea slider now. There we go. Oh, I didn't get this open? All right. And Anti-damage. Ooh, that's good. Where is the uh, purple mystery data? There it is. Anti-water? Okay. I'm probably... I'm probably gonna have to come back here for blue mystery data. I'll do that later. There's two purples in the undernet. EQR. Double delete. Is it the... Yes, it is. It's white, red... Ooh, star as well. That's a good one. Well, asterisk. The stars, anyway. I don't know how the chip is. I, I don't think I've ever used one. 
no, a virus. What do we got? Double delete. Oh, just Zenny. Okay. All right, park area. Get the blue mystery data. Reg up two. How many do I have? How much do I have anyway? Thirty-eight. Huh. I could put gun soul in the front. I don't think I'm gonna change what I have, but yeah, these are never gonna be. Okay, let's do this side quest. Well, not side quest, whatever. Main plot. Feels like one. <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of the top guy with Crick's power. Oh, and I managed to get the heal Navi. Yeah, Kendo Man only hits one target. That's weird. He's going for a sword. He's gonna self-destruct, and then with the power of friendship, we're gonna be saved by our friends because barriers. Now we go to Naxa. And then I think we're basically setting ourselves up to go to the meteor. Oh, wrong way. Have fun with the game, but as I said, complaints are valid. What do you mean I can't go in from this shit? It's life and death here. Oh yeah, they want you to have, get your note. That's the only reason. Most are valid. Some people complain about Galactic Conquest. Conquest should be more. Hmm. Alright, Meteor Comp. But, it's time for cleanup. Final dungeon can wait. The Meteor's about to crash? We got 10 hours? We could, we could do side quests. Let's go... Let's go breed some chocobos and do some racing. Place your bets. Alright. Let's focus on... Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go to Castello first. Want to get that shortcut, too? I'm going to need to buy some unlocks. Uh... Some people complain that Galactic Conquest should be multiplayer. You spent six hours on Battlefront 1 Galactic Conquest. Battlefront 2 is massive. It's going to take much longer than six hours. Uh. But it still doesn't change the idea of, like, it probably should be multiplayer, right? I mean, what's wrong with, you know, having it multiplayer versus not? Whatever. All right. How many unlockers do I have? Just the one. I need at least two. We'll buy three just in case. Okay. Now we need to go to the undernet. Let's go to Netfrica. It's a chess game. Oh. oh, is it? Is Galactic Conquest literally a chess like game? Again, I haven't played about Battlefront really. Only like a little bit of multiplayer with a friend, like once or twice, you know. So I didn't know that's how it went.
Maybe it could be local, like couch co-op, you know, but maybe not online. Unless it still already is couch co-op. Oh, you know what? Wait, you know what I should do? Untrap. We're gonna be exploring here for a little while. Okay. Let's go to this shop. Use our first unlocker. God hammer. Place this stone. Oh, okay. You just place one of the statues there. Okay. And what do you have? Net dealer. I don't. I just spent like all my money. Yep. It is what it is. All right. And the other purple mystery data is in uh, area four. Just game where you try to take over planets, okay. Uh, you choose to be one of the factions from the era, and you choose a planet. Invade it. Normal battle happens. Once the battle ends, your opponents get to move, and they can invade the planet and super repeat until one person wins. Oh, okay. And it already has couch co-op. Okay. So yeah, sounds fine to me, honestly. I'm gonna have to come back for that blue mystery data. There we go. Actually, no, let's grab the blue mystery data now before I forget. Let's grab it now. HP memory, perfect. Definitely need more HP. Say, uh, your opponent owns Ender. You can choose to invade it, and a battle happens. If you win the battle, you own it. If you lose, your ship gets destroyed, and your pro uh, opponent can try to try that to you. Okay. Uh, but based on what I remember seeing of like some videos and stuff, when you try to take over a planet and you do the battle. Don't you only take, like, a small percentage of a planet? And you have to do, like, a couple missions before you fully take it over? Or is it literally just, like, oh, one, one, uh, attempt per, you know. Sorry, I'm, like, blanking. Or do you take over the entire planet when you make your attempt? Oh, the spiders are now placing the spider webs. Okay. If you lose your ship, you basically get your turn skip because you have to waste a turn to get it repaired so you can fly to another planet. Yeah. Reg up. All right. I think there's two blue mystery datas here in this in area two.
cheap. In the, in the first game, you would have to invade neutral planets once, and those owned by the opponent need to be invaded twice. Okay. In the original, each planet had two maps. Do you have to do two map? Oh, I, I'm guessing when you when you have to take over one of the opponent's planets, you play on both maps basically. I didn't miss anything. There's the blue. I only got one in. Okay. Let's heal up. Uh, two more Mega Busters will do it. There we go. Each planet had different bonuses you could choose from. Tatooine gave you a hero bonus who, in which Jedi or Sith would join your side of the battle. Wait, what? Really? Oh, okay. Area 200. I think that's new. Keep that. Alright, Area 3. Two blue mystery data. There, we got the... We got the code. Worry about all that later. I know I need to get to area... I need to get to area 4, but let's take a detour to area 5. Side bamboo. I, don't, I think that's new for me. Yep. Got some zenny. Very nice. Now let's take a side detour to area 5. Make sure I grab everything on this section. That way I don't have to go back. I was kind of hoping I had Magnet. That way I could just bring him onto a grass panel. Anti-fire, very nice. Now I just need one more. What, anti-wood, I think? Area 5, is there anything? Yeah, oh yeah. No, Undernet 6. That's right. No, we need to go through Undernet 6. Two buff racks. Then I think at this point we don't need to go to 5. 
The bonuses can be minimap dis uh, disruption on your opponent, sabotage your opponent's vehicles so they spawn with less HP, ex extra reinforcements, human passives. Or the AI gives improve on aim on your team. Wow. Wow. Prick's power! Prick's power isn't broken. It's just very strong, especially when you could just start the game with it. But after a while, I think it will be outclassed. Circle Gun 2 and Metagel. Okay. Well, I need Circle Gun 2, that's for sure. We go this way first. And there's a mystery data behind the big uh, ramp. Nothing there. Reflect, but it's okay. And the spider can go over holes. I forgot about that. And it doesn't matter. Aqua Soul. A couple of light shots will do the trick. shop. I can't... Uh, no. I, well, I can buy a whole oil body, but I don't need it just yet. Yeah, let's save my Zenny for now. I don't need oil body right away. Right, we can't go there yet. I got one of them done. Get out of here. Circle gun two. It might be a different one. It might be a different code. Keep it. Alright, there's a blue mystery data under here. Black bomb B. Okay. Right, that's a... Uh... I think that's for one of the... I think that's the Proto Man one. Or Search Man, maybe. Can't do anything there. Constantly getting healed. Yeah, let's just go with this. Get rid of it now. Done. I can't reflect fire. That won't work. Or ice fire, whatever it is. Untrap. Barry 200? Okay. Different code, though. And Undernet 5. At least this section of Undernet 5. Has nothing. Okay. Oh, I have to try. How do I try, though? I uh, don't really have a good loadout. Yep. 
no good loadout. And I can't reflect these guys either. Breaker chips and all. Got rid of one. I'm not getting a chip from that. This might not be the worst place to use collect then. Because I only have one air hockey too. Definitely gonna need more. Kinda need the healing. Yay, there it is. 500. Alright, back to Undernet 3. Off to Undernet 4! Where the main side quest awaits. Now, want me to go to the beginning of Undernet 2. What will be the best way to handle this? a lot of help on this fight. So yeah, we set up the side quest. Let's actually explore first. Although, I was going to say, just so we don't have to fight Shade Man, but in the overworld, but let's be honest, we're already going to be able to fight him anyway. It doesn't matter. We already did the side quest once. I can't set it on fire tiles. Okay. That's dumb. I'm gonna need wood soul for this. Oh yeah, fire tiles disappear after a little bit. And take the time to fully heal up. Perfect. Okay, now we go down here. Take this one. And this is a mini bomb. Okay. Not that great. Alright, under net four. I better save. Shade Man could pop up at any time. So I want to spend as little time in here as possible. Bug bomb. Did I? What is that? Throw a bug bomb three squares ahead. Hmm. It's a normal chip, too. It probably uses bug frags. That is my guess. Yeah, nothing here. And we gotta make sure to grab the purple mystery data as well. I'm getting rid of the spider right away. And of course, Kendo Man can't deal with uh, holes. Ooh. If 
I need to heal up, I can do that now. But I don't need to. Lurk for a bit. All right. Enjoy the background noise, hot corn dog. Just doing side quests and clean, uh, side quests and clean up. Down here. Just save all the time. I don't want to deal with Shade Man. M Cannon G. I know that's like my second M Cannon. Alright, I think that's a different code. Down here, we get the purple mystery data. Dark dark line turns all row rows into holes okay I I know I had a few that's like that I think some were normal chips okay hole appear a uh, hole appears in front I thought I had dark line before or was that a different code I thought... Oh, it's a different code for Dark Line. Okay. Okay. Well, then. Well, it had to be grabbed anyway. Anything over here? Nope. to hit the spider twice. There we go. Bug frag trader. I only have 55. Anti-magic, no. Getting three attack max. I'm I better save my bug frags. Alright, let's set this up. Solar Boy. Django. We need to go to Undernet Area 2. Beginning of it. Alright. We got this set up. Oh, I had to go to Area 6 anyway. I could have set this up first. Didn't, didn't have to waste time. Silence. Okay, I didn't have that before. We'll take it. Alright. Nothing else here. We can't go to Water God. We can't go into the Lion Statue. That's fine. Yeah, right now we're just going to take care of this Django side quest. Because we found we set this up to find the guy already. Oh, did I get it? Okay. I should be able to get the shortcut. There we go. There, that's all set up. Even though I probably won't be really using it. But it's nice to get set up. Yeah, we'll use another trap. It, there's no harm in it. It's very cheap to buy on traps. Okay. We need to go backwards. If I want to keep the untrap, I should stay in. I 
Again, somehow being invisible somehow blocks the sound from me getting blinded. I mean, explain you can explain that to me somehow, but... Well, I got the blue mystery data. Here. And you had you took it to under six. It would be faster for me to just leave and go back in, but I just used it on trap. I don't want it to go to waste. Here, this way. Pricks power! Double delete! 400 damage! Get out of here. Okay, green mystery data. Untrap. Big hammer 2. I don't know if I had that or not, but it might be a different code. Tricks power! I would say this feels cheap, but it really isn't. It's pretty balanced. It's like almost as balanced as... You know, Gateman SP in two. Or Punk. Wait, what am I doing? Unlike, you know, like Gospel, you know, that's ridiculous. Or Base in Battle Network 1. I guess we'll go with this. Magnet Bolt 1! And to think, we're gonna have to do this whole thing, like, two more times. Because we have to do a fourth playthrough. So isn't that fun? Now where is this guy? Counter three, okay. Actually, that might be a new chip. I don't remember. He's gotta be here somewhere. Where is he? There he is. 10,000. Back to Undernet 4. Now it's faster to leave and go back in. Alright. Let's set up another untrap. It's a lot of money right there. Seems like Undernet's a pretty good place to grind for money, possibly. Get it untrapped going. Just check for green mystery data.
Probably just gonna be taking out these guys with poison panels mostly. Mega Buster. Almost done with the side quest. To Penny. Oh, okay. I could get them all with Prick's power. No, I could get two. Okay. That's fine. And we'll just Mega Buster the rest. Actually! Oh, dang. Reflect would be better. More damage. I forgot. I have to be in a spot full of sunlight, and where's a good place for that? Netfrica. I forgot about that. Dang it. Wasted time. Might as well take the opportunity to go buy some sub sub chips. Mainly uh, max out on untraps and. Don't buy untraps here? Okay. Untraps and unlockers. So how many do I have? Seven. Let's go by unlockers. Because I'm already here, might as well. So it just needs to be in a place with a lot of sun. So I just need to be outside, or does it have to be Netfrica? Actually, you know what? If all I need to be... If all I need to do is be outside... Maybe Castello will work. Now I'm just testing things out. Because what I can do is I can just take the shortcut back to my PC and take the space center p uh, shortcut. It'll be faster to do this than Netfrica, assuming I can do this. There's another untrap. There, I could buy like 10 more on traps with that. Back to Undernet 4 again! Because I forgot I need to be outside and go touch grass. That was the. It, it's because it's trying to tell you how uh, Bok Tai works. Oh, right. I didn't hold the button down. Because in, with Bok Tai, the Game Boy Advance cartridge itself had a solar sensor. So you were supposed to actually be outside and 
to actually charge the the sensor. Or just have good light source, I don't know. Back to Undernet 4. Go around. Get uh, too bad I don't have times two. Well, we could set up the guardian. Dang it! I got hit. This should hit. Perfect. Double delete. Let's see if that brings me to rank ten, rank eight. Yeah. Waited too long. Fragments. There, I'm outside. Does this work? Yes. Castello works. As long as you can touch grass and be in the sun. Nebula code. Perfect. Currently holding five unlockers. I have six untraps. Time for cleanup. I might have to pull up my uh, blue mystery data list again. I was pretty thorough though, but we'll probably just check everywhere. This is where I would want Sneak Run as a customizable thing. All right. Might as well grab Untrap, open mystery data as I find them. Sneak Run won't help. Like, I don't have the... I don't have the Navi Customizer Sneak Run. And I also, a sub-chip won't last that long. Not for what I'm trying to do. There's only four of these doors. ACDC 1 and 3. Sharo. And... Oh, what was, where was the other one? Where was the other one? I know there's four. Well, anyway, here's the first one. Reg up two. Okay. We got a bunch of cleanup anyway because of the sea slider, so we're, we're going to be exploring the net. And I'm pretty sure I already took and ca taken care of all of the uh, unlockers by now. Yeah. So any extra money I get can be used for programs... Let's double check. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, I might need to pull up that list of blue mystery data. So I can double check. Yeah, we got that one. We'll go grab the green. Oh! Guardian. If it's a fast win, I'll take it, but I'm gonna try to run from the fights. 
I forget if Sneak Run is a bug frag trader or a uh, just a Zenny net dealer. Wouldn't be the worst idea to grab one. Untrap, cover point, okay. Second Nebula Code, we get charge plus one. Hmm. I know I can't throw it in. I don't have the space. Unless I get rid of an attack. Well, that's what Buck Stop could be for. Charge plus one. Oh no, I can throw it in. Sweet. So my attack and charge are both at level 4. Sweet. Alright. Off to town area. Five hundred zenny. Did I get this unlocker? Yes, I did. Okay. I will have to go into town 4 because I believe there's a blue mystery data that I skipped. So I'm going to need to make sure to grab it. Yeah, I just keep running away. And so I don't need to do any of these fights right now. Off to town four. And I just grabbed the unlocker that was here. Or purple mystery data, whatever. Yeah. Fifteen hundred zenny, not bad. Um, oh, I could win this fight. There's a green mystery data here. Might as well grab it. Oh, I couldn't move that guy forward. Okay. Green mystery data. And tornado. Okay. Oh, I thought there was a blue here. Never mind. I thought there was blue. Okay. Never mind. Nothing else. That... Oh, yeah. You're the board park guy. Nothing else to do here. Time to check. Time to check town three. Guard two, all right. That's a shortcut. I don't need to talk to that guy down there. Okay, at least get two of them out of here. And reflect. I don't need to buy anything from here. I mean, eventually I'll probably need to buy Time Bomb, but...
Ah, uh, now nah, we'll just run. Just gonna run. One fragment. Okay. We already got the purple mystery data. There's no blue down there. Got the bug fragment. Alright. I already got the blue mystery data that was from going through town four. It would have been right there. I'm pretty sure I got everything in park area, but you know, you never know. Let's just double check. Nothing there. All right, subship dealer. How many unlockers do I currently have? Five. I can hold two more. Might as well. That should be all of the unlockers I can hold at the moment. If we don't find any more unlockers, then all seven of those can transfer to uh, the next playthrough. Which will be nice. There's a green down there. Oh, I'm not going to backtrack for that. Not for that green one. Perfect. Zenny and Cannonball. Or just Ball. Okay. Whatever. Take this teleporter for the sea slider. Just a bug frag? Okay. Well, we need to grab it anyway. That's it, It's very important that you do. Oh, I have to try. I don't care if he broke he broke the mystery data. I got them both. Double delete. Rank ten. Another air hockey. It is the same code, but I'm okay with that. Now I just want one more. Then I get to replace all of my air hockeys. I do need the other codes though. <laughs> that would be nice. Double crack. Eh. Not useful. Nothing over here. Mm. Now nah, we'll run. And we haven't run into any navvies yet. I'm just kind of saving the navvies for, like, when we're kind of ready to fight them. I think we need to take this third path, or fourth one. Take the upper one. Nothing there. I know up there is a dead end. I don't need to get to. Yeah, I already got the unlocker one. From here, wide shot 2M. Oh, I have ends. I see. Probably needed that. Blue mystery data. Four thousand zenny. That's an unlocker right there. Bug frag trader. We're buying sneak run. Holy panel. HP plus four hundred. Anti damage. Shooting star. Or shot star. Do I save the bug frags? Yeah, let's save the bug frags. However, let's see if we can throw in sneak run. Okay. Get rid of custom one. Throw in sneak run. I'm gonna have to get rid of charge. Actually, no, I don't. I don't have to get rid of charge.
Good. Less random encounters for right now, I think. All right. Blue mystery data taken care of. That's everything here in park area. Okay. Now I need to head through... Um, we'll go to ACDC Area 2 and start in Yum Land. Just work my way around, kind of like last time. Set up another under trap. I don't think there's much of Yum Land I need to explore other than the Sea Slider. We'll grab the green mystery data. 800 Zenny. Alright, we'll take it. I definitely need to. Oh, sneak run is not working here. Then why have it? Why have it then? If sneak run is not going to work in this area, then why have it? Well, it might be helpful for future future playthroughs. All right, we're throwing custom one back in. I probably needed to get, like, more HP memories to technically be at a higher level. That might be useful when we start uh, checking all of, like, the side sections, like the doghouse. Alright. One unlocker. Bug fix. Repairs and removes bugs. Actually, what is the... Uh, oh, 62. Yeah, you're probably not going to get that for megabytes for a shortcut. All right. It's a good thing we double-checked. The other skull door. Where is it at? I know there's four. Three magnet bolts. Two. Got those replaced, finally. Oh, yeah. Duh. Natopia. It's right here. And two buck frags. Oh, I can set this up. Dang it. Now it's never gonna work. I messed that up. I had a good idea, but it didn't pay off. Still got the double delete, though. Yeah, I want to check the shop. We'll buy the one HP memory. 580 HP. Alright. Off to Sharo. I think I could just run. Bunch of Zenny. Very nice. Twin Fane 2. I don't know if I had that. Maybe not that coat, though. Oh, wait. I need to go around. But 
up and over. Grab that. Bug fragment. Nebula code. Come, Guardian. Triple delete. HP memory. All right, 600 HP even. All right. I still need to check Netfrica. I check the right side over here, right? Now I'm double now I'm second guessing myself. I did get everything over here, right? Okay. Alright, off to Netfrica, because I gotta use the sea slider. More Zenny. Perfect. So, I was pretty thorough in the Undernet. Undernet 1, there was the shop, which I can't really buy anything in there. There was the unlocker that was in front of him. And I already grabbed the blue mystery data. In 2, there were the two blue mystery datas that I grabbed. 3, there were also two mystery datas that I grabbed. 4 was the unlocker and the blue mystery datas. Six was the one underneath the, the big platforms. Just Zenny? Lame. Alright. I'm pulling up that uh that list. Gonna see if I can find that list. Ship code location, dark ship. I know I I found it once here. Ship code, ship list, retirement, Higsby, mystery data. Here we go. Now I gotta skip to. Actually, let me double... I'm going to double check purple mystery data. Very quick. Okay. Entire... Doing clean up, might as well check. Anti electric H. Spin green, I have to double check. Anti damage M in town two. Town one has spin green. I'll... Okay. Town area three had HP plus 400. I could double. I'll check that here in a minute. Town four had anti water D. Park Area 2 had five bug frags. We got that. Park Area 3 had double points. Uh, star. There we go. Yum Land had bug fix. Sharo had Black Bomb Z. Which that's a... That's one that's up here, I think. Black Bomb Z is like everywhere, though. So yeah, I have like I have like two. It's not a big deal. Undernet one had gar God Hammer. There we 
go. And then under net four had dark line L. That's all the purple mystery data. However, let me double check. HP plus 400. There it is. And I didn't buy another one, so... Unless there was another... No, I only have the one, so that's good. And then... Spin green. Where is it? Spin green. White, pink, yellow, and green. Okay. That's all the purple mystery data. So now let me pull up blue mystery data. I know I was really thorough this time. Okay, ACDC one had two, which we we checked. Area two doesn't have any. Three has charge plus one and a bug frag. Got those. Town area one has the reg up. Town 2 has money. Town 3 has high cannon... High cannon E. Okay. Yeah. 4 doesn't have any. Okay. Park Area 1 has HP memory and reg up. Park Area 2 has the bug frag. Park Area 3 has the zenny and the charge plus 1. Natopia has a bug frag and the reg up. Youngland has zenny. Netfrica has... Anti-Recover D and Zenny. Anti-Recover D. Sharo has the HP memory and a speed plus one. Yeah, HP memory was the... was the Skull Door. Undernet area had the HP memory. Undernet 2 had reg up and barrier U. Undernet 3 had anti-fire K, which I saw in there, and Zenny. I remember grabbing two. Undernet 4 has M cannon G and bug bomb. M cannon G. Bug bomb is probably... Right there. Undernet 6... Black Bomb D, saw that in Bug Fragment. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I... It's either I double-check all the other areas again, like Elect Tower, Toy Robo, 1, two, one through 4, but I'm... Pretty sure I was thorough when checking through those again. Double checking those. I can skip meteors. Yeah, let's. Alright. Let's be thorough on the other stuff then. And with Navi Customizer with Sneak Run, that should make this go a lot faster. Alright, doing a run through. Are things going? Need a free tournament navvies? Uh, no. I don't need free tournament navvies. I managed to get them last Friday. And I already fought a couple of them. And some of the ones that I fought, I do deleted off here, Monzai. So, we're at the point where we can go fight the final boss. We are just doing cleanup. Nothing here. I am double-checking everything again. I have sneak run, so that should make this go faster. Okay, checking the doghouse. I'm pretty sure I was thorough about this, but I'm always second-guessing myself. 
game console. Yeah, we already fought Roll and Thunder Man. And I currently have all of their secret ships except for Gutsman. I was having trouble getting him into the final round. We'll save the blue moon ones for when I get to... Once I get through, like, the fourth playthrough. Because those are only for the secret ships. Like, I don't need them for anything else. We'll save Blue Moon stuff for probably the fourth playthrough. Because Roll took the spot of Video Man. I have to... And I still need to fight Wind Man. What am I doing? That's not what I wanted. Oh, did I crash? No, it was just a buffer. Okay. This was just a mini bomb. But... Okay. Okay, off to Jomon. Gotta check the stereo and then the monitor. Realize how powerful Chuck's man's secret ship was. Uh, remind me, which one was that? Like, I forgot what it did. It's not Poltergeist, though. <coughs> okay, now we need to check the monitor. Might as well stock up on, on traps. Panel shot, but each but the level three version, which sends three panels, seventy damage each. Oh, hmm. But it takes away your own panel, right? right. Check the monitor. Hot dog stand, drinking machine, card reader, sink filter. Can't check this side of the top. Okay. Buy that with air shoes. You might. Oh, and you could do snake stress. I see what I see what you're going with. Oh, it can't be a star code. <coughs> That's nice. Check the hot dog stand. You know, a, a, a checklist would be very nice for a situation like this right about now. I could have been marking it along the way. So I wouldn't have to double back like this. Okay, gotta check here. And you were right, uh, the filter doesn't show up until you're able to go to uh, Netopia. <coughs> Which, honestly, that one's really mean. They don't install a filter until way later in the game where you have no reason to come back here. You're using my stream to wake up? Oh, it's all good. <laughs> and here's the thing. Even if I don't get to take advantage of this hypothetical checklist site that can be used, it will be useful for other people in the future. Then you just need to make it well known. Yeah, I already went in here. I went in here this stream. And I went in here during the tournament. Man, Sneak Run really makes this a lot uh, more tolerable, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, off to Castillo. Uh, 
a ticket machine, ice cream cart, and the stadium machine. Ticket machine. No, nothing here. Most thorough. Ice cream cart. Let's start before we move on to other games. Could be useful for two for bug frags, one for power ups, three for. Five or six for general chief. Yeah, no, four needs it the most. That's the big one. Uh, but yeah, you can make a checklist like that for every other Battle Network game. For like HP memories, armors for one. You know, you could you could make a checklist for like every aspect, every type of collectible. Other than maybe chips, you probably don't need that. I do need a big final project recording course. Oh, you're just gonna use this checklist idea for for uh, the course? Hey, that anything works. Uh, one thing I thought of for this, you know, this checklist site, right? Obviously, this wouldn't be something that's needed right away. But what if for the checklist you have like ACDC area two, right? Or uh, yeah, you have area one, ACDC one that has a blue mystery data. You take a, a snapshot of where the location is, so that way it's always there. So it'd be like, see, it's in this area. Like, uh, you can, you can cross-reference it. And, if you can, for fun, uh, once you click on the checkbox, it shows a different picture that shows, like, Mega Man collected this, you know, like the text screen. Because why not? Sta uh, Goddess statue had spin yellow, as we kind of saw. I already had it, but, you know, we're being thorough here. Hero statue and Coliseum battle machine. And because some of the blue mystery data are tied to like HP memories. So if you make a list for where HP memories are located, if you click on one one of the boxes, it will get it will automatically click the corresponding uh, HP memory or blue mystery data that's tied to it. So that way you don't have to hit both boxes. There's a turn MVP. Minimum video product before the boss. Oh no, I get it. That's just something for later. If anything, I think it would be more well not more important, but definitely less of a hassle. If you have a HP memory list and a blue mystery data list, for example, sometimes blue mystery data are in or HP memories are in blue mystery data. Very specific ones. So if you click on the blue mystery data that has the HP memory, it just automatically checks off that you picked up that particular HP memory. That would be nice. Okay. So the Buddha stat, the two statues in Yum Land. Helps with clarity exactly where the mystery data is, yeah. At the very least, that would be nice. Like, obviously, it's not something you would need to do right when it, when the site launches or something. But that'd be nice to have. The other idea where once you click the box... It's a good thing I checked. So, like, for example, let's use, let's use this as an example right now. You would take a snapshot right here... So you see the blue mystery data, and that's the picture. Play through the game again, which you have to do. Not doing that. Oh, yeah, exactly. So, like, you take a snapshot here. That way it shows the mystery data. But then, for if you 
if you could do this for fun. So then, when you click on the box, it'll swap the picture to a screenshot of this. Because why not? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you have two sh snapshots. At the very least, the first picture would be fun to mess with. Uh, uh, nice to have. The second picture idea that it swaps to is more for fun. I thought it was thorough. It's a good thing we. It's a good thing I double checked there. We have a statue. Okay. The no new Popo statue. Which had the lock enemy. Which I think I remember getting. I think it was there. And we can't access the lion statue. We don't have access to the antennas in Sharo, which sadly I need to access at some point for an HP memory. Uh, Alright, we're going to Sharo. For the space center. Which I'm pretty sure I remember getting this, but I might as well look. Just the space center. Space Center Comp. That's this area, right? Computer Comp. Okay. Uh, sir. The picture would be useful in more. I think it would be more useful in situations like jacking into comps is a picture of land outside of the thing needs to jack into. That could work too. For these types of ones, yes. Especially like the... Uh, the oh, what was it? The, the, the water filter in Den Area. Because that one, you can't access a tell Netopia for whatever reason. So not everyone would check back there. They thought they would have checked everything. At least with, like, the card reader in Den area, it would say there is a jack in point, but you can't access it. So you might think to check back there later. The water filter has no sort of, like, nothing saying that there might have been one there. Just you can't access it. No, there's just no water filter until you access Netopia. You go back and be like, oh, they basically just installed one. But yeah, you could totally do, like, a few images like that. Yeah, knowing the jacking spots is also useful. Um, so, that is all the side areas. I could double check. Oh, oh. That did not take that much time. Sneak Run really helped with that. Okay, let's double check. Uh, the Elect Tower and the Toy Robos. It's the last two places. Or, not the last two. Like, the last few areas I haven't double-checked yet. Might as well. Might as well. While we're here. see anything. There should be three in this area. Also, I like this song. It sounds nice. Okay, 
nothing here. Looks like I was thorough. But yeah, some of the jack in spots, if you take a picture of like of land outside the of the location of where this port is. Uh you probably put text on top showing like, oh it's den area faucet sort of thing. Uh or like Yum Land statue. Or the hero statue and in Netopia, but on some of them, like the faucet, you would probably put in parentheses like available after Netopia or something like that because that one's very specific. All right, let's double check the toy robos. I'm pretty sure I was thorough on these, at the very least. There are th supposed to be three here. As long as I don't run into any viruses with Sneak Run, it'd be good. Also gonna add program advances as a feature possibly to add. Oh yeah, definitely could. Um, I feel like program van most program advances are probably less needed, but some sometimes the, a lot of the chips that you need are in blue mystery data, so it'll help already right there. Um. I, I feel like program advances might be one of the later things you do. Definitely blue and purple mystery data list for sure. Um, you could make a list of green mystery data and what they can drop per area. Doesn't have to be a checklist per se. I mean, it can be on like some of like the chip ones, just to see if you get that code or not. Especially in this game. That would be a lot, I know. Well, you could also just list down not every item that Green Mr. Data can give you, just the chips. Especially some of them I think you could really only get if you use Untrap. Right. Although, like, knowing what chips are available through Green, Green Mystery Data in Battle Network 4 is actually very useful. Because apparently, certain chips are only in certain routes. So if you really want to make sure you get, say, a bunch of high cannon Cs before you continue, you really need to get Green Mystery Data in one of the later maps. And you're probably going to need to use Untrap for that. Because while you won't be locked out, you'll probably only be limited to a couple chips of certain types. But yeah, that is like the least important thing to worry about. No, I get it. That's one of those things where it would be very useful for Battle Network 4, but, like, that's something you tackle after you finish not only the blue, purple mystery datas, um, uh, like HP memories and all that, and even after doing stuff like that for the other Battle Network games. Well, luckily you could save in front of some of them, but yeah. 
Well, there is a list, but if you want the images, then yeah, you're gonna have to find them yourself. Oh, I get it. But that is definitely something to tackle, like, after everything else. Yeah, it's more important to get everything else done first. Hell, it might be more important to get the other games, too. Alright. Area 2, done. That's actually missable. Nothing's missable, missable from the Green Mystery data, but... Because, like, High Cannon C is one of the ones in in round one. High Cannon C is an option. You can get it in other ways, but you only get, like, a couple chips. Like, if you don't grind the green mystery data in round one. That's what I was reading. Stuff like that. So it's like, you, if you really wanted to build your folder with it in mind, then you would need to do the grinding in round one, and that's your only option. And round two as well has stuff like that. Three and onward, they're all basically the same. Nothing really needed. Exactly. Nothing's missable because of the chip trader. Yeah, but you're dealing with RNG. Do you really want to deal with that? From the chip, tra chip trader. When there's hundreds of chips it could give you. With different codes. Luckily, there is a list that has them all listed down. It's just... If you wanted screenshots, that would be... That would take some time. Okay, this is going a lot faster than round one because of Sneak Run. And going a lot better. Way more tolerable. Oh, yeah, exactly. As well as listing... You can also list the armor as well. Luckily, Battle Network 1 has no purple mystery data. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, armor, HP memories... So you want us to go to Internet 13 check to check, check the shop. Exactly. Exactly. Just to find out, oh, you already bought all the H all the HP memories from there. Okay, nothing here. Yeah, exactly. And there's only, a, like, a few other, like, side chips that you might, like, for side quests to consider. Like, really, if you wanted the program advanced for, uh, Double Hero, you have to get, you have to do that one big trade that requires, like, Skullman, Sharkman, uh, Woodman 3s, Drop Down B, which that's the big one right there. Yeah. Oh no, Battle Network 1 really, it's really more HP memories, armor, and the, uh, what else did you say? The, the power-ups. Because I don't think Battle Network 1 had re reg-ups, did it? Nails piano, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was missing three. You were in, th you were missing three, and they were in Nails piano, ooh. And you forgot to buy them in the first shop. Oh, no. Yeah, I can see how that would be very annoying to miss.
You see, like, a checklist site like that would be very nice. You know, you just have the site up as you're playing. And, uh... <clears throat> you have the site up as you're playing. And then, like, oh, I bought one from this shop? Mm, check a box, you know? All right. We double-checked every area. Okay. We're good. We double-checked everything. We can... Yeah, let's restock on the locker. It's not going to hurt anything. All right. Let's go for the final boss. Let's get to Naxa. That should be everything. So other than the one spot in Yumland, I was pretty thorough this time. And of course there's blue mystery data in here, so I gotta keep this list up. Okay, first. Let's unequip sneak run. Let's put my stuff back how I had it. Uh, custom one. All right, there are three blue mystery datas in area one. Okay, there's one. Zenny. Second blue mystery data. Recover 200M. Sweet. Alright, the gravity well. Get out of here, I can reflect that. No, there's still a mystery data somewhere. Oh, uh, okay, well, I guess we'll gun soul it. I got one out. Got one of them out of here. Alright, that's done. Spin red. Okay. Area two. Three, there are three blue mystery data. Two bug fragments. Okay, I need to go through here. Yep, here's that. Uh, 
think we'll go Whipsoul this time. I shouldn't have been this. Oh well. Let's grab that first. Two bug frags. North Wind E. Is that a new chip? I don't remember. And we get Reg Up 1. For the other two, two moons, I guess. Ha! Area grab. Uh, double delete. Well, it worked out. Okay. Now I gotta run all the way around. Slow gauge. Get rid of you, and then one more. Perfect. Did I get them both? Oh, I was gonna go left. No, nope, but I only got one. That worked out. Could have been worse. All right, area three. Has three mystery data. First one, HP memory. More health is always nice. Triple delete. Get out of here. Hey, Caleb, how's it going? We're, uh, wrapping up round two of Battle Network 4 out of four playthroughs. <laughs> Doing some sort of game. Pokemon Hunt. Oh, how's that going? <laughs> M cannon E, I need one more blue mystery data. And one more on you. Okay. 
Just fill in the Pokedex so it's complete as well. I see. What else do you got left on that thing? Apparently, most of my Pokedex filled up when I connected it to Pokemon Bank. I'm like, oh, I'll remember it being this, being like this. Uh. Ah, damn. I prefer being in the back when I'm trying to do that. Moving your Clev Cleavor. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a good idea. There are tons of mons to get Cleavor is ready. Right. All that work needs to be shown to whoever you come across. Just boot up home and be like, look at the all the ribbons I gathered. Wait, is it down here? It is. And 3,000 zenny. Okay, now I need to get to the fourth one. I don't know if I had that code yet, so. Yeah, area three is HP memory, Zenny, M Cannon E. Alright. Area four. Final area. Four blue mystery data to grab. Always double and triple save because you can never remember that you, uh, that you got them or not. All right, four to grab. One bug frag. find number one. Nope, wrong way. I think I just went the wrong way altogether. Need to go left and around. Oh, slow gauge, come on. Almost got it. No, not that way. Go up and <sighs> stupid gravity well. was quick, but couldn't get Invis off. Probably faster to move. Rag up one. HP plus 200. And the last blue Mr. Data is where? Not that way. Let's see if I learned my lesson. Try moving up first. Yep. Oh. 
attack. Go. Done. Oh, Caleb, by the way, uh, there was, you know, Steam has their spring sale, right? Because, you know, it's that time of the year. I looked at my wish list, which was a mistake, by the way. I shouldn't have done that because I bought Monster Crown for like three bucks. It was like 80% off. I... <laughs> you see something that's 80% off and it's like three bucks, so you have to... You're gonna just say no after seeing that? Still haven't, I, you know, I haven't booted it up yet because I'm distracted by so many other things. I really shouldn't have bought it. But I did. It was, it was a good deal. That's the problem with Steam. They give you too many good deals. You spend all your money. All right. And full energy. Bug frag, HP 200, reg up, full energy. Yep. All right. Oh, I messed that up. I couldn't remember. Like, did I find three? No, I didn't. All right, time to start that all over. I wonder if I can get healing off. And no, I'm not getting any healing off. Okay, time to try this again because I messed up. There was three. Oh, okay. I see what I need to do. This is what happens when you deal with random encounters. I had it in my mind at some point that I need to find the third one, but random encounters distracted me just distracted me just enough for me to forget. Steam sales are too good. I know. It, it's always a mistake to uh, look at your Steam wish list when there's a sale going on. It's always a mistake. You know there's going to be something good and you're like, oh, I didn't want to spend money, but now I have to. Because I have no impulse control. First one. This thing's actually getting really annoying. Okay. Mm, can I run? Okay, good. I don't want to deal with this fight. Now with that starting lineup of chips. Hey, Monzai. Uh, we got all of the blue mystery data. And I mean all of them. So we're basically on to the final boss. Again, for the second time. Now I got that. Up and around. Great. I don't know why I find these circle gun guys like very annoying. I, they could cheap shot me like that. Okay, 
now we go through the fourth one. And we have to go all the way up and around to get back to the fifth one. good here. This will work. I could get two out of three. Uh, nope, never mind. Only just... Just one. Yeah, I forgot I destroyed the bomb and he teleports back. Heal. Yeah, there we go. It's funny how Aqua Souls Mega Buster is now weaker than my normal one now. Because of my attack pluses. And it only doing 20 damage. Kind of wish it gets powered up every once in a while. There we go. Got that done. Can't, you know, step in front of the final uh, in front of one of the final fights without, you know, getting an encounter. That's just normal. How else would you uh, set this up? I'll get some healing. I'm gonna need that. Unless I automatically get healed. I don't remember if I do. Alright. Time for the fight with Laser Man. And now to make sure not to get hit by his blue laser. Hmm. I don't need wood soul. So we'll go with this. Oh, I... Okay, we'll go with number man soul. And then I have two Vulcans. Yeah, at that point I should just keep moving. All right. Frick's power! Alright. Get that set up. And Gunsoul! Dark laser. He gets healed every time. But I could just reflect a hundred... Oh! Here we go. Get taken out by Duo. Better than the blue moon ship. <laughs> Might as well use that full energy. It's not going to hurt anything. Alright. Time for the final battle. Let's try it again. How difficult to do this? I mean, okay. I will say, during my streams of 1 through 4 so far... 
Uh, Duo is the only one that I did not beat my first try. On my first attempt. I won't say he's hard, but it took me a little bit to remember the pattern. Pro part of it actually is more of that by the time you fight him the first time, when you compare to a traditional Battle Network game, you don't have like as much HP memories and higher stats as comparison to 1 through 3. Because I only had like 300 something HP when I fought him in round 1. In Battle Networks 1 through 3, I probably had this much HP, if not more. Actually, I had like 600. So yeah, I probably had way more HP. I guess we'll go on the soul. Yeah, in Battle Networks 1 through 3, when I fight the final boss, I probably have about this much HP. I had half of this. when I fought him in round one. I think that's mostly the problem. The first attempt at him, you're just underpowered. Not that it's super hard, but you can't really take that much hits. Dude, it's not that hard to dodge. Plus, good soul strikes him. Oh yeah, no, there's a lot of ways to deal with him. Man. It just took me a, a little bit to get used to his... Dang it, I missed. Get used to his pattern again. Oh, and freaking Wood Soul works on him so well. Just the tornado just works on him. I know I'm gonna get a full heal. Might as well go number soul. There we go. I think it's just more of you're just underpowered than a normal battle network game. I think that's more the reason. And now for duo alpha. Speaking of boomerangs. Start with Prick's power. Okay, I can only hit him once. That's okay. Oh, he goes again. Okay. I'm so used to round one. Okay. Oh, right. These don't work. Not anymore. Right. Part of my problem with my... Actually, you know what? Part of my problem when I was fighting him in round one, I just had a really bad folder. And this is basically a similar folder. Yeah, this is just a really bad folder. Let's get rid of these. Okay, he's already doing it. Oh my god. I forgot about that one. All right. Let's heal up first. Probably didn't need to get hit. Okay, gun soul. I can set this up.
Uh, okay. I do think Duo's poorly written. In the anime, he's at least feels more robotic as being semi-manipulated. You'll get foot shoes as fast as I can, so I can't so I don't need to deal with poison. There's poison panels? Huh. Oh, you're just talking about in general. Yeah, I don't have air shoes. Cracking the ground does nothing. I mean, that makes sense. I get the idea. This is helpful. Number soul. Let's use boomerang. Let's try this. <coughs> Molly, no. <coughs> My dang it. No, knock it off. That was not the <sighs> Gimme a minute. This is not the best time. Good thing that didn't start the game up. My cat's wanting something. That's what's happening. Be right back.
All right, I'm back. I don't even know what my cat wanted. I gave him food, he didn't take it, and then Molly needed to go outside. So that's what happened. Okay. Uh... Get wrecked by yourself. Yeah, there we go. Duo kill duo. And that was round two. Now we gotta charge up the spirit bomb. Speeding up through all this cutscene, all the cutscenes. Asteroid's been di and diverted. And I actually have to sit through this. Okay. I can't actually speed through it. But yeah, uh, you're talking about Duo. I don't know how he was written in the anime. I didn't get that far. And besides, I was watching Dub, so I need to rewatch it. So. Um, but I still find it weird that Duo is not a robot in this game. Now I didn't I didn't think about this you know when I first played this because I only had Battle Network to go on but Duo being from Mega Man Eight he's a robot there he did come from space but the only reason this timeline exists when you compare this to classic series is because Doctor Light chose to go into computers instead of robots so why is Duo who is from another planet a Navi or a computer program and not a robot that makes no sense to me unless there's two duos one's a robot and then you have this one i don't know but at the end he's like i'll come back in a couple centuries so that's a setup for star force if i ever saw one star force 4 final bosses duo again he comes back i mean it could work i know it brought it up last time but like those, like, it kind of needs to be said. Where's the original duo? Yeah, if there were two duos, where's the robot one? But I think this timeline is implying, no, this is the duo from Classic Series, but because this is Battle Network, he's a robot. But I'm asked, but then I ask Capcom, how does that work? Like, it, it doesn't make any sense to me unless there are two duos. Because why would Dr. Light going into computers affect this other planet? Yeah, he got corrupted by noise. Uh, where would he pop up, though? Well, noise is in three. Noise is a three mechanic, right? It's been a long time since I actually played three, but he wasn't there, if I remember correctly. Final time? No, with the producer. KG and Afune. Okay, come on. Can't speak it. That is the Meteor G is Duo's Meteor. Meteor G. Is that... Is that the event in, in Star Force 3? I, I need to replay Star Force 3. Or get back to my save file. Whatever. Ah, uh, final time on my second run. <laughs> All right, three days after the event. Whatever. Continue from game three. Now, if you weren't connecting to the other version, this would be your final playthrough. But because I already connected to Red Sun, I need to play another one. We gotta go through the story mode two more times. Isn't that fun? Virus scan, whatever. Alright. 
Let's check the microwave. Speed through some of this. And then do the three viruses, and then go back in and get the blue mystery data. L, M, and N. Pit ring two. Two fifty damage, nice. At least, yeah, it sucks going through this game multiple times like this, but at the very least, I'm you can skip cutscenes. You know, some games didn't let you do that. I'm looking at you, Kingdom Hearts One, PS Two. Actually, I think a lot of PS2 games just didn't let you skip cutscenes early on. Uh, do that duo became the Crimson Dragon? Uh, they don't have any similarities and connection is tenuous at best. But... Hmm. Just gets corrupted into a dragon. That sound. But there's no evidence to back that up. but it's all you have. Hmm. The, your only evidence is that you're in a meteor, you know? And that's evidence enough, right? All right, how much zenny do I get? 2,000. And dad wants me to buy the repair patch and he gives me 500. Yeah, okay. Takes place 200 years or so later. I mean, yeah, it, the timeline li at lines up. Oh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't get the line. I got it last time. I have to do another playthrough anyway. Maybe I'll do it again. What do we got here? Triple crack. Not useful. Not to me, anyway. Air hockey. Actually, let's go with Vulcan 3. Not as good as I need to get mad. Uh, there's another great line if you try to go into the square and elect time without talking to. Oh, really? I don't know if I saw that line. Okay, HP plus 50. Hmm. Now, I know if you were to play the game more than three playthroughs, the bug fragments or the blue mystery data is just going to be the same after that. And they don't cycle. But the question is... Is the blue... I'm pretty sure all the blue mystery data in round 4 and onward are just, like, bug fragments and zenny. Like, it's not that great. That was, that was risky. Almost died there. Don't need the green. No blues here. We could get the purple. Seven unlockers. Anti-wood. Well, 
I should also look up what all the purple mystery data is in round four, because I might not need to bother. Mystery data. Mega energy bomb. And virus. You know what? I'm just gonna use magnet ball on this guy. And reflect him. Good. Still no chips. Alright, buy the patch. That's done. Now, can, now that dad can fix the microwave. I right, talk to everyone around. And everyone tells me what I already know based on two playthroughs ago. Because we're in a time loop. Balnark 4 is just a time loop. And Lan can't escape. This is all just a dream. <laughs> Check the doghouse. Is Balnor Forge just Groundhog Day? You know, is that all this is? Got a bug frag. See, there's level one stuff here. This is how you're supposed to get older chips. Just go into these small side areas. Still don't know where the level twos are. They're probably in here somewhere. All right. Dad, shoot. There we go. All right, so, wait. I can buy them traps from you. Oh, I already have a full amount. Good. That's fine. Oh, go to the square without talking to them? <laughs> okay. Again, you always hear them say dad. It's like... When they say daddy, it just sounds so... It doesn't sound right at all. I mean, it's correct, but it doesn't sound right. Again, you always hear them say dad. All right. Blue mystery data. Lock enemy. There's two here, though. Bug fragments. Just okay. Again, level one stuff. Come, Guardian. Get out of here. Oh no, I missed the chance for an earphone. Go on the net later. Go on the square. And uncover why you have two nails, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Pretty much, yeah. See, look, he says dad here when I when I do this. Let's go to the square. When I press L, you like that. There's only like two. You would only have two nickels, pretty much. All right, we can at least do the same shade man uh, scenario. Just get through that. 
kind of a repeat of just a few streams ago. ACDC area. Run, 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 run. Can't do much. We should be able to speed through a lot of this plot. Because, like, even during the tournaments, like, I'm either gonna fight Gutsman or Fireman. Everything else is a repeat. At least I'm pretty sure. Hawk tournament, we're probably gonna be fighting Windman. And that's the only new one. I'll grab this. Yeah, sadly, I won't get to Video Man until round four, most likely. I right, already got Metal Man, Wood Man, and Burn Man. Roll. Yeah, so it would probably be Wind Man, so that's like the only new one. And then in Blue Moon Tournament, Search Man and Proto Man. Because I probably won't be fighting Cold Man. So yeah. Could be very quick, more or less. Oh, damn. Yeah, here. All right. Dang it. <laughs> Do this. Rank two. Couldn't get the second reflect off. Maybe I could have, but I just didn't do the input right. All right, Shade Man captures roll. Get an email from Yai to get the code open. We might as well go to it right now. Get that open, grab the shortcut that I never use, but nice to have it anyway. Kinda hate that I have to constantly reset this up. Right. Town area one. Wait, didn't ACGC3 have a purple mystery data? Oh, well. Come back for it later. I don't think it did. Three bug fragments. Let's grab this. Triple crack. data down here. Oh, might as well grab this green as well. Spreader, of course. Bug fragment. Yep, that's correct. And I get the green. You know, thinking about Duo, uh, in the Battle Network manga, if I'm correct, 
They don't even fight Duo in that one, in that adaptation. It's just Laser Man and uh, Dark Mega Man. I don't think Duo's ever fought in that adaptation. That sounds right. The meteor, like, just doesn't even happen at all. Like, meteor? What meteor? That doesn't exist. By duo in the anime either. He's the antagonist of season three and brought up a bit in season two. Oh, they don't actually fight him? Hmm. Well, maybe it's one of those uh, duos like examining them and he's like, oh, I see there's good people in this world. I'll let you live for another 200 years. Bye bye Whereas in the manga adaptation, I don't think he ever shows up. Oh, we got to spin blue. Got that halfway through. All right. Yeah, I don't even think he even shows up in the manga adaptation. Okay, the dent dealer's not there yet. Again, the mon the Battle Network manga is basically a loose adaptation of the anime, which the anime in itself is a loose adaptation of the game. to go get Shade Man, or check here anyway. Cuss Sword S, okay. Like, oh no, we're in an Elect Comp area and we can't fly. to the giant stereo he wants to destroy the earth with giant viruses what that makes <laughs> i don't think that makes any sense at all it's just like just destroy the earth you are on an asteroid just crash into it he sees mega man uh confused with the land and proto man oh. shot Oh, I'm missing something. He wants to see the power of the bonds that can triumph over evil. Right. Okay. I think I need to actually talk to that guy. There we go. I do know that they do a proto-soul... Uh, fusion and I think that was when they were fighting against uh, laser man but I think that's the extent and it really just ends with defeating laser man and dark mega man Navis to do evil stuff. Hmm. Also, whose bright idea was to name Duo's nav uh, operator Slur? Who, who thought that was a good idea? Hmm. I'm trying to remember if there was some sort of, like, evil Navi sort of thing, and I don't think so. Again, I think it's just, like, kind of doing some different thing. Oh 
Come on, attack me. Wow, he's really not doing anything. Get out of here. Can't skip this. There we go. Now we can go... Go over here and go into the stereo. The giant stereo. What is the point of the giant stereo anyway? What is the purpose? Is it literally just for like town meetings and like concerts? Or something? That's the only explanation. All right. Elect Tower Comp. There's three per area. HP memory. Perfect. Charge plus one. So... I could literally do this. Also, but that there's actually another way I can handle this. There's another way I can handle this without using bug stop. There we go. The anime and the games are basically entirely different once you get past episode four. So. A few scenarios carry over. Yeah, that's pretty much the manga, too. Like, Mega Man fights... Wait, does he? Yeah, he fights the Life Virus. He fights Gospel. He fights Alpha. Skips Duo, basically, all together. Nebula Grey and Gregar. But, like... It's kind of doing its own different thing. Like, tell me if uh, this is a part of the anime. Uh, during the ba events of what Battle Network 6 would be doing. Dang, I want to waste that. During ba what Battle Network 6 is, when Gregor shows up, there is a... Uh, like a hole in the ground that they jump through. And this hole in the ground leads to like this old internet, apparently. What the proto internet, and it's basically just like Jurassic Park. And that's where like Gregar was sealed. Gregar and Falzar. I'm pretty sh I know the games don't don't do it like that, and I don't know if the anime does. Quickman, Fireman, Airman, Upper Man, that's basically it. Hmm. Not even a luck man. Also, who cares about Stone Man? Or Bomb Man? Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, I wasn't gonna get that. Oh, I'm not getting that either. Yeah, it is basically an alternate universe situation. I don't mind, like, each thing being it's, like, its own flavor of Battle Network. But at least adapt everything, you know what I mean? Like I said, Battle Network 4 is basically started and done in a single volume. Like, they beat Alpha, and Dark Mega Man gets introduced. That's the, that's the cliffhanger for the end of one of the volumes. 
and then Laser Man and and Dark Mega Man are resolved in the next volume. On to Battle Network 5. Make it it's that rushed. I get it. Battle Network 4 doesn't have too much of a plot, but you could do more than that. Like, you didn't even have duo at all. Fireman does do arson in the first episode. Number man traps kids in the school. And Lan has to count stuff. Iron Man tries to get Yai and tries to gas Yai in. Yeah, that's just yeah, that sounds accurate to Battle Network 2 right there with the whole windman stuff. Quick man tries to destroy the dam. Yeah, those are accurate to the to the games. But that's as far that's the most accurate about uh, the anime gets, huh? Like if I'm correct, don't they go like with with uh gospel or grave, whatever. Uh like, they actually have it pop up in the real world, kind of like this is Digimon or something. do kaiju stuff a few times. Yeah, okay. I think the manga did something like that, too. I almost need to reread it. Almost. I- oh, I- I'm remembering something about the Battle Network 6 section. When they go into, like, the old internet area, like, the Jurassic Park section, like, there's, like, this competition of some sort, of who who gets to become the champion to fight Gregor or some shit. I can't remember the exact details, but like a bunch of navvies show up, and the whole goal is to get everyone, get as many of like the emblems as you possibly can, like make like Mega Man symbol on his chest, get as many of those, and like there's like you see Proto Man, no, it's like Colonel teams up with a couple like Element Man and Judge Man, but they have like no lines and they're just dealt with right then and there. It's like, oh, you didn't amount to anything at all. Also, Alpha flat out doesn't make an appearance. Wait, Alpha doesn't show up at all. Life Force does make an appearance in anime, but it's treated as a super strong virus. Oh, that's lame. I mean, to be fair, it is a super strong virus. That is accurate. But its goal was completely different, you know? Duo's a major character. Well, at least Duo got more love in the anime than he did in the manga. And give it that. Also, five is the main villain of the movie. Oh right, Battle Network did Network Transmission did have a movie. Or yeah. I I would think the movie might might be canon if that's the only way they handle Nebula Grey and and they do reference it in later seasons of the anime I would say the movie might be canon kind of like how um I, I I need to actually watch the anime but like when Demon Slayer was getting 
uh, the movie. I think it was Mugen Train, I think. That was canon, and then I think they just decided to continue on after the movie? No, they readapted it, didn't it? For the anime. But, like, the movie's canon. And if they just didn't adapt the anime of that story arc, you could have just watched the movie, you know? Gregor and Fowler are our leaders of an alternate dimension. What? <laughs> they're not beasts? <laughs> I mean, they are beasts, but, like, they're actually smart enough to actually think. Be like a tribe leader. Gregor and Fowler are just warring tribes, not just two giant kaiju fighting each other like Godzilla. Is that the last of them? They find a Navi baby and it begins to... There's a Navi baby? Oh no. Hmm. Did I find all the bats? One more, one more, okay. Let's see. Oh, I saw it. There we go. I need, I need to watch the anime. Some weird stuff happens there. Shots and boomerangs. There we go. It does. It does. Uh, that's a little weird. Wait, doesn't like Miss Mari get like really fan surfacey? I think the anime does a little bit, or the manga does a little bit. By the way, Miss Mari doesn't even show up in this game. Hell, you don't even go into the school. Wait a minute, does Miss Mari even show up in 5 and 6? Like, I, I don't remember. D does she just leave after Battle Network 3? Because you, like, never go into the school anymore? She's in six? Okay. I doubt she's in five. I mean, we'll find out eventually, but... Yeah, she just straight up disappears for a little while. And Dex code. Can take care of that later. All right. I think we'll make a save and then wrap it up. Oh, it's 4.30. All right. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. Next time, going to start doing the Den Tournament, which should go pretty quickly other than Fireman slash Gutsman. But anyway, have a good day. Later.